about how to do fillet crochet but before I can do the actual tutorial I would like to make an introduction on what fillet crochet is fillet crochet is usually a crochet that's made up of double crochets and chains so usually one block this is uh, called an open fillet when there is uh, no markings in there. So it's an open fillet. Like this, uh, this is an open fillet and this is a closed fillet. And uh, so here's the instructions for an open fillet instructions for open fillet crochet is chain two skip two stitches and double crochet on next stitch so this is a fillet crochet so based on the previous double crochet right here we chain two, one, two, and double crochet on the next stitch, which is a double crochet, and that makes up an open fillet crochet. The closed fillet is like this. So that first double crochet is already done from previous block or fillet. So you do two double crochet on the space and then double crochet on the next stitch, which is a double crochet. You can also have a closed fillet over a closed fillet. So you have to do a double crochet on top of the next two double crochets. And then double crochet on the next double crochet making a total of three stitches so that will consist of one block of closed fillet crochet so this is that closed fillet instructions so two double crochet on the space or on each of next two stitches and double crochet on next stitch so here's uh, the symbol of the open fillet and the closed fillet symbol is like this usually on a standard uh, some graphic fillet pattern is like that but some are using dots big dots inside a square to designate a closed fillet so whatever the designer uh, chose to uh, what symbol the designer chose to use for the open fillet so when you get a pattern it will usually look like this but what I do in order for me to be able to uh, work on it and simplify the pattern to where I can easily use and read the pattern, I put a lot of notation and numbering on the pattern. So I make a copy of the pattern on a graphing paper, my working graph pattern would look like this. It would look like this. I put a lot of numbering there and there and there. And I will explain to you that 
the, what the numberings are. So this is row one. This is row one. I put the dot here. That is the top of the double crochet stitch where the big dot is. So that's odd numbered row. So one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on and so forth. Odd numbered row reads from right to left. Even numbered row reads from left to right. This numbering here at the bottom is my guide for where I am on the column. So like I got three closed fillets right here. So I know that once I reach the fourth square or fillet, four, five, and six are closed. So I know that I need to make a closed fillet on four, five, and six. And this number here tells me that without me uh, counting one, two, three, four, you know. So it's easier to look at this number at the bottom. And I do the same on top. So it's starting on the opposite direction so that when I'm crocheting on this side, then I will read the column starting on this side also. And uh, the other thing that I do is to make a mirror image so that after I copy the pattern on a graphing paper, then I traced it, I traced the other side so that I have a mirror image of the same pattern. So that's my numbering there for the even rows, two, four, six, eight, and so on and so forth. So that when I start, so I will start on row one and I will be reading the pattern this way. And I will follow whatever design or closed fillet or open fillet that I need to follow reading this way. And when I have to turn the work, then I have to use the even numbered page and use this so I also will read from right to left and I don't have to change my way of reading when I turn the work. I always read from right to left every time. So that's how I cope with uh, this problem of having to turn the work and the graphic image is on the opposite direction to where I'm working. So here's how it would look like. So my working pattern would look like this. So I start row number one. This is the image that I would look for. And so I will make um, seven open fillet. See this number tell me immediately that I would crochet open fillets, seven of them, and then the eight should be a closed fillet. And on even number, I would have to read from here, but since I adjusted, I made a mirror image, all I have to do is use the mirror image of the same pattern. So this is the mirror image. So I turn the work, so I turn the work now, this one, I turn the work and so I'm the same orientation with the pattern. That's why it's better to use a mirror image. Okay, so now all I have to do is follow the picture so if i'm on row like on this one i'm already on row this row number here one two three four so i'm on row four 
So I follow this closed fillet right here, then followed by open fillet, which is this one, and then closed fillet again, which is this one, and then followed by two open fillets, one, two, one, two, and then followed by three closed fillets, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's how my pattern works. And I have been put the numbering there to the column guy. And so that's how it is done. And I hope it helps you in figuring out how to do filling crochet. And the next episode will be to actually work on the actual Shy, which is we are going to make a curtain balance thank you all for watching and i hope this helps you in your crochet projects